Have you guys seen this thing? Average single developer is using at the moment decrease on PHP Storm. My poor sublime text. Filament just won the war at the moment. Java is decreasing. People are making the correct choice. 88% they use DD. <laughs> just good news, chat. What's up, Nino Nation? It's Nuno here. And just a reminder that only 50% of you are actually subscribers of this channel. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe my channel. And now, enjoy the video. Okay, let's jump into this. The early state of Laravel surveys attempt to gain insights and da 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 Ooh, interesting. Other programming languages Laravel developers are using. 85% of the people are using JavaScript, but... Half of them are using JavaScript combined with TypeScript. Do you guys use TypeScript, by the way? Write on the chat. Type one of them. I feel like if you are doing modern JavaScript development, just go with TypeScript. There is absolutely no reason to go with JavaScript, okay? Okay, Adrian answered, JavaScript easy. I don't get you, dude. I don't get you. You are the guy with, you know, types and everything. And now you are telling me JavaScript. That's completely bullshit. You know, that's bullshit. Unless you enjoy being unsafe, just literally having your code being broken all the time. But I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people using Python, probably because of AI reasons. Okay. A lot of these AI libraries are built on top of Python. So probably that's why Python is growing so much. A lot of people using Go. This is something that it doesn't surprise me too. Go is very versatile and very good actually for building HTTP APIs. So it does not surprise me. Java is decreasing. And for this reason, let's clap this survey because people are making the correct choices. You Code clean the same, Swift the same, Perl the same. Are people using Perl in 2025? Like what the actual? Honestly, I could have coded this right now. This is super PHP, by the way. Like dollar variable equals to hi mom as a string with a comma thing at the end. This is literally PHP, valid PHP right there. And PHP was influenced by Perl. I agree. I agree. Administration panel chat. And we see an increase on filament about 4%. I would expect to see more on filament. What do you think about this chat? Which admin panel are you using at the moment, chat? Are you using Filament, Laravel Nova, or you are using Backpack? Uh, we see a small decrease on Nova. Expected. Nova is a paid product. Filament is free. The community is much bigger on Filament at the moment. And I think kind of Filament just won the war at the moment, you know? Uh, debugging approach. Oh my God. 88% of people on the PHP world, they use DD. <laughs> It's just good news, chat. Honestly, other people are using too uh, things like Laravel Debug Bar, which is very cool, by the way. Laravel Debug Bar. Oh yeah, chat. Laravel Debug Bar. Okay. Laravel Telescope. I don't. I don't use Laravel Telescope anymore. And I use X Debug not for um, not for debug, but for coverage. Application context. Which are the contexts you are using for the Laravel framework? Is a business an OB? In most of people. 94% of the people who have answered this survey are using Laravel for actually making money, chat. This is actually a very important one. I told you, Laravel is literally for putting food on the table. That's why business people are using Laravel. You know, just the reality, chat. Just the reality. Let me know what you think on the chat about this. Databases, oh my God. Which databases are you using for your applications? And I see a decrease in MySQL. This is no surprise. This is no surprise, Chad. This is what happens when you see a lot of these new generation companies batting on Postgres. You literally convince people that Postgres is better. And undeniably, for regular applications, Chad, MySQL works as good as Postgres. However, you see that Postgres just feels more modern these days, okay? You see a lot of features, including including vector searching, but also, you know, a lot of these big companies investing on promoting Postgres as a better solution. And here is the result. In one year, you convince 10% of the Laravel community that Postgres is better. In one year, just. In just one year. This is crazy. 2025, chat, 36% of the developers in Laravel are using SQL or Squeal. And this is not this is not coming out of nowhere. And I, I bet my opinion in my, the fact that I'm vocal in the Laravel, Laravel community about SQLite is also making an impact on this. You know, um, I have told multiple people on Twitter that 
I use SQLite for many various of my projects at the moment, um, including Pinkery.com. It's fully running on SQLite for sessions, queue jobs, database drivers, and everything. And I love to see people embracing the simplicity of SQLite. I think it's a great option. Front-end reactivity. So this is actually the story behind, you know, are you using Livewire, Vue, Alpine, and Vue.js is still so popular, but decreasing chat. You know, I think this decrease on Vue is due to the fact that React is growing. And this is like, sometimes people don't choose it. It's just because the market today, is just they want more React people. You know, all this Vercel, Next, all this generation that comes from 2020s are literally convincing the entire market that React is the only thing you should be using at the moment. And you can see that already on this stats with Vue decreasing a little bit. Interestingly, Livewire and Alpine, they are growing. You can see this? So here we go. Alpine, Livewire is literally growing right here. And same goes with Alpine GS. That's crazy. Here we go. Vanilla DOM modifications. Jesus Christ. This is even worse than jQuery. People literally using just vanilla JavaScript to access the DOM and change the things. Angular GS, of course, not popular. Svelte, not popular. Otwire, not popular. And we have other choices, which are not listed here. Ooh. For CSS, Tailwind CSS, super popular in 2025, of course. Vanilla CSS kind of remains stable in the, about 29%. I don't even know what this is. Last, well, I do know, but it's been like fucking 10 years since the last time I used this. Last CSS, other, and yeah. Pretty much everyone using Tailwind CSS at this point. We are going to know. We are going to know, Shep, okay? It's the moment of truth. Which... PHP testing framework are you using in 2025? Are you using PHP unit or you are using past PHP? Now we are going to know. Regardless, we have 70% of people, 70% of people using one of both, which is good, okay? Meaning that two out of three Laravel developers are using um, testing, okay? But still, the number is increasing which I'm happy about that. Number is increased. Both great projects. We are lucky on the PHP world to have this too. Let's go all the way down. How many people are using Laravel Pint, PHP CS Fixer, and PHP Code Sniffer? Interesting. So we have about the same number. <laughs> Which development environment are you using at the moment? Are you using Herd? Are you using Laravel Valet? When I was starting with development, you know, talking about 12 years ago, probably, I was using this thing, Shump. And Shump, if I remember correctly, was the way that I had to have PHP, MySQL on my Mac OS. And then, for the biggest period of my life, I have used Laravel Valet. Okay, Laravel Valet. And now I'm using Herd. And Herd is absolutely awesome. That's what I think. Herd is absolutely awesome these days. I love Herd and it's such a great piece of software. Uh, source code hosting. We see an increase on GitHub, but we still see people using GitLab and Bitbucket. I don't get this. Like, why would you use this too? Chat, write what are you using at the moment in terms of hosting, for code hosting. I'm using GitHub for everything. Primary code editor. Wait, what? We see a decrease on PHP Storm. This is crazy, but I may have an explanation for this, okay? I may have an explanation for this. Write on the chat which up editor are you using at the moment, chat. But I do think, I do think that for PHP and Laravel development, PHP Storm is just the best at the moment. Is the GOAT. And I think many of you agree on that. However, many applications today, they simply have a lot of JavaScript, okay? They simply have a lot of JavaScript. And for JavaScript, VS Code is indeed good too. So maybe... You know, maybe maybe a lot of the, the Laravel developers we see today, they probably spend more than 50% of their time doing JavaScript because there is literally a lot of JavaScript in their project. So I think it's because of that. Oh, oh, oh. That is also the question of the pricing, of course. You know, VS Code is free, PHP Storm is paid, so I get you. I think PHP Storm also spend a lot of time without Juni, you know, which made probably a lot of people... Um, trying cursor and things like that and being instinct into it. All the cursor AI editor guys literally voted on VS Code. So I, I think it might be it, you know? Only 1% using Vim. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be honest, every time I see a developer using Vim, it's badass. It's badass. I can tell you right there. Sublime Text is dying. Oh, no. Poor Sublime Text. 
You serve us so well for so many years, my poor sublime text. 60% of the people who have answered this survey do not contribute to open source. And I told you this multiple times, Chad. Contributing to open source is something that is super important in your career. Many of you are basically a little bit shy of contributing to open source, but it's such a natural and easy thing to do. You can start with documentation, you can start with code, you know, you can just literally upload your own project to your GitHub account and make it public. This is the best portfolio you can have. A nice GitHub account with a nice selective six repos you have actively contributed to, a nice green stat here below. This is literally the best portfolio the best CV you can deliver when you are looking for a better job. This speaks for itself. Right on the chat, which operating system are you using today? I'm using macOS and apparently 50% of the Laravel developers are using macOS too. 50% of the developers are using macOS. A bunch of them apparently, they have shifted to the Windows operating system, which does not surprise me, Chad. The Windows operating system have kind of became a little bit better over time. We see a small jump on the Linux operating system, which potentially is people using Omarchi. Have you guys seen this thing? Apparently is the operating system every single developer is using at the moment on the Rails world. The Linux kind of stabilized a little bit with 20% and other people are using something else, which I have no idea what it is. All right, tech stack. Ooh, this one is interesting. Wait, what? 68% of people are running already in PHP 8.4. That's crazy, Chad. This is something we need to pay respect. Actually, you need to pay respect to two kinds of people. We need to pay respect to the internals of PHP who have made smooth upgrades, okay? Allowing us to literally jump from PHP 8.3 to PHP 8.4 in the very easy way. At the same time, we need to pay respect to the PHP developers in general who like to upgrade their apps and be on the latest in the late in the greatest version of PHP. If you enjoy this content, just go all the way down. You guys could see this? Go all the way down and subscribe my channel. And also, if you want, put a like on this video. I really appreciate that, all right? And thanks to Laravel Forge and Laravel Cloud, we can actually sweep versions. It really just works. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. However, if we go all the way down, we see that, for example, PHP 8.0 is almost not being used anymore. But what we can see here is that PHP 8.0, for example, not even contains bug fixes anymore. It's literally dead. Okay, so if you are running on PHP 8.0 or less, stop using PHP right there, okay? You should literally upgrade to the latest versions, okay? Laravel version. Which version of Laravel are you using for your application? And here we go, Chad. Here we go. 84% of the Laravel developers are running on Laravel 12, which is the latest version, okay? This is absolutely insane that most of people in right on the chat, which version are you using right on the chat? Most of people are using Laravel 12. This is not a surprise. Again, just like PHP itself, the upgrades in Laravel are easy peasy, like literally three minutes of upgrade. It's super easy. And as I can see here on the chat, most of people running on Laravel 12, that's it, chat. That's just the best version. Laravel 12 this is the latest and the greatest. I have various ideas for Laravel 13. Oh, the LTC. Do you guys remember this? The LTC version? Oh my God. I can see that the LTC didn't really work out because <laughs> Laravel 7 is being used more than the Laravel LTC version. That being said, love you all. Peace out.